Welcome to the Handy Hunter. Trail camera tripods for less than $4? Stay tuned, I'll show you how to make them. Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video on teaching you how to make tripods for your trail cameras for basically less than $4. These are great uh, to put out in the fields where you don't have trees that are uh, accessible um, in your prime spot uh, where you want to put your trail camera. And <clears throat> these are just amazingly cheap. They're amazingly efficient and uh, usable uh, so that you can put these anywhere you want. And I love these. They're nice and stable. They're made out of half inch EMT piping. Um, they got a little bit of weight to them so they're pretty stable and um, they're just very mobile you can move them and put them everywhere um, i've seen these online for about fifty dollars which is amazingly expensive for something so simple there are some out there that are cheaper but there's like a single spike um, they seem a little flimsy to me so i made my own out of a uh, in a tripod form and i uh and i really like it so i'm going to take you to the shop and show you how to build one What's up guys? I'm going to show you today how to build some cheap tripod stands for your trail cameras. There is no reason for you to guys to go out and spend the 50 bucks that I've seen on some of these tripods for trail cameras. That's just crazy. Uh, there's the single stick kind that, that are like $25 that I've seen online. The ones I'm going to show you today, you can build less than $4, and when I say less than $4, I'm being conservative. Um, you're going to have about $2.50 in the metal and the stick part of this, and then maybe $0.50 cents in the bolt, and then a little bit in the paint by the time you're done, and uh, you're going to be $3, $3.50. You're going to definitely be below $4. So um, you can do this with or without a welder. I'm going to show you both ways to do it. Um, either way is really easy. I just started out welding them, but then I figured out a way just to simply do it without welding. So let me show you what the non-welding one looks like. So basically what you're gonna need, um, first of all, is to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get some half-inch EMT piping. This is what the piping looks like. It's in the electrical department. Um, everybody has it, um, and it's really cheap. It's about $2.50 for a 10-foot stick and uh, you're going to cut it since 10 feet is 120 inches you're going to cut it in uh, 40 inch sections uh, so you're going to get three equal sections of 40 inches and then uh, we're going to come in to the end here and we're going to um, measure three inches from the end of the pipe we're going to mark it we're going to crimp it um, with a vise and bend it on all three and we're going to drill a hole through the middle put a bolt in it um, inch and a half works best um, it's a quarter inch bolt um, and nut with a, uh, an inch and a half long. That's an inch and a half long. And then the little upside down butterfly or wing nut uh, to go up underneath your camera to tighten your camera down. So, uh, so that's pretty much it on the, uh, the uh, non-welder one. Really simple, we're gonna build this one first and uh, let you just see how quickly uh, I can build this for uh, less than $4. I like that. So uh, build a bunch of these at once, and that way you'll, uh, you'll have all you need for the hunting season. So the other one I was gonna show you is this is the way I first started out making these, and that's with a, uh, a face plate on top uh, with the uh, legs welded underneath it. So um, I just started out making them this way. It was really, there's no difference between the non-welded and the welded, it's just, um, I don't know, I like welding stuff and just started out doing it this way. And if you want to do it this way, um, I like it because of the little platform on it, but uh, not a real big deal. Um, but this face plate um, is basically what this is right here. So um, you find these in the electrical department. It's a face plate to an electrical box. Um, this one's a little different. There's two different kinds. There's the kind that's oval corners right here. And then you've got the other ones that are square. Uh, completely square. You want the one with the oval corners on it so that you can weld to the uh, corners and it makes a nice triangle on your tripod so uh, and you can spread your legs out evenly. So this works really good. 65 cents for this by the way. Uh, so um, that's pretty much it guys but before we get started. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, and, and get the non-welded one started so you can just see how, um, see how easily uh, those are to build. So let's get to work.
nice, huh? That's pretty quick. Easy to do, guys, easy to do. So, anyway, guys, that's how you build the, uh, the non-welded one. Just comes out really nice and simple. Comes out really nice and simple. Looks just like that. Don't need anything else, any, anything more than that. Not really, not for trail cameras in the woods. Paint it up, make it look nice, you're all set. So uh, now we're gonna move on to the welded one and we'll finish that one in no time. So stay tuned. All right guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the welded one now. Um, so where we're gonna start is we're gonna measure an inch and a half from the end, mark it. We're gonna crimp that on all three legs. So here we go. So that's that's the welded portion right there. Just a uh, little tripod with a setup. Um, looks nice, quick and easy. Set this up and do a dozen of these things all at once. So uh, here's the finished product. When you get it all squared away, painted, put a nice camera on it, and uh, you're set to go. Here's what I was talking about: the clearance under here because you're going to need some clearance underneath these to be able to get this 12 volt plug right there. Underneath, right there is where the plug is under on, on this one. And it will go because this plug, this is a Moultrie 12 volt plug, it bends right there. So it'll go up under there, but that's where I'm saying you want to use a longer bolt to get your camera a little bit of lift off of uh, off of the, the base of this, so. But uh, that's it, guys. That's as simple as it is, man. Dirt cheap, dirt cheap hunting. That's what I'm all about. Um, and just stuff that works. And these things work. Uh, so I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. If I can ever help you in any way, answer questions, um, email me, uh, reach out to me, let me know, glad to help. Uh, all you guys out there if you, if you need any help or need me to answer questions. So uh, Look forward to uh, seeing you guys on my uh, next project So if you if you haven't subscribed, please do so got a lot of stuff coming um, a lot of stuff We've been working on for a long time coming So I uh, would love for you to join our journey with us and uh, be a part of that. So uh, God bless you Take care and thank you for watching